Welcome back to Nissan Stadium just across the river from downtown Nashville. It's Chiefs football as we jump into the action in the first quarter of play. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score, give yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think, oh, that's into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. And a return will stop right around the 25. But to me, it's pretty simple, and it's fairly obvious, isn't it? He's got to start making better decisions with the ball. That's now two interceptions in the first quarter. After interception number one, there was a long talk on the sideline, and now he's made another mistake. Yeah, he's just been kind of laying these passes out there. He's kind of been floating them a little bit. He's got to be more decisive in his reads and definitely more decisive in throwing the ball. Right put in there every now and then. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Tannehill. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And all the way down inside the 5 to the 4. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Second and goal from the one. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Ryan Tannehill, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. Off for the point after is Randy Bullock. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. So that drive spanned five plays, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. So an early 10-0 lead for him now as they kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think... And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. So more problems here in this first quarter. Already two scores down, and here they give away the football. And if I'm the head coach, I think it's time to start lighting a fire under some of these guys. Now, you have to do it within your personality. They can't perceive it as fake. But I'd go get after some guys because they don't look ready to play to me. They look flat, uninspired. It's time to get moving. Tackle made there by Frank Clark. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Tannehill. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Reynolds. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Tannehill hooking up with Reynolds for a Titan first. On first down, Tannehill. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. 
10-0 to score after one on EA Sports. On second down, here's Henry. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive from the six and out a little across the 25 to the 27 out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense he struggled his team has struggled you, you talk to me a lot about looking to your leaders maybe it's time for him to put his mark on this game agreed and how that has to happen is somehow he's got to flush out everything that's happened so far and almost start over and get back to that confident level and know that he can play the game because so far this has been a real struggle yeah absolutely he's got the interceptions trying to turn it around on second and ten Mahomes and this one caught by Travis Kelsey and they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45 that one covers 29 yards first down play action it's Mahomes that's caught it's Demarcus Robinson and he goes down but not before getting this inside the 25 that's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards and this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo a nice throw there and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response Mahomes to throw once more. He's going to go up top for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. They've had multiple opportunities on offense and still haven't scored any points. Felt like they wanted to loosen things up, throw it downfield, and see if maybe they could get a big play and a quick strike. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back in the 31. He's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Well, last game he had two sacks. Got another one here picked up right where he left off. Brandon, he spent the entire offseason working on new moves, new techniques, trying to... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Amari Hooker, and the Titans are going to get this back to their own 34 yard well, we heard all week that they were going to put the football in the air a lot. The problem is that is now four interceptions, Charles, that he has thrown in this first half. How do you treat a situation? What do you say to your quarterback right now? Boy, that's an interesting question because a lot of it depends on the head coach and the people making the decisions. You have to know your quarterback and know if he's mentally tough enough to have a chance to turn it around. Or is he a guy that maybe you've seen enough and it's time to go to the backup? But right now what you're rooting for is your defense to help keep you in the game to give him an opportunity to get back on track. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Second down at seven. Tannehill. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Reynolds. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 22-yard line. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On first and 10, Tannehill. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. And the Chiefs are going to have it here just past the 25. 
Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Amade Hooker. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. A first down carry for Henry. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Throwing on third down. Tannehill. Slant pass. He's got Reynolds. And he will be very close to a first down. But I see the close fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. Bullock will put this one through, and the lead now increases to 20 to nothing. So that Charles, a season long right there. And you know who's really excited about that? The special teams coordinator, because he's the one who has to tell the head coach in pregame, this is where we trust him from. This distance, he can hit it, and he repaid that trust by knocking that one right through. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball. In. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Rashad Evans, the linebacker, recording the sack there. And this offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes, open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10 to throw. It's Mahomes. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Bud Dupree. And the return this time. Two-yard line. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Tannehill on first down. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Brown. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. To throw is Tannehill. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Jones. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. From the five, here's second and two. To the air again, Tannehill. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As was the second half upon us sooner than we bargained for. Week seven, second half, let's do it. The 
the Titans hold the lead and they'll get the football first as the third quarter gets underway. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the young men. And a penalty marker's down on the field. And they might be backing up a bit here to start the drive. So that will push him back. And now we know why I have lost the space to run, don't we? The legal block in the back, that penalty will move them back. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Anytime you eclipse 100 yards rushing, you deserve the acclaim that comes with it. And he got it. AFC Offensive Player of the Week last week. It wasn't up around 200. It wasn't in a crazy, crazy game, but very good. Solidly in that driver's seat to win that award, and he did. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 64 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. And Derrick Henry with the ball in his hands. What a sight to behold because power and speed involved in every touch for him. Coming off another spectacular season with the Titans, he became the first since LaDainian Tomlinson in 2006 and 2007 to win two straight rushing titles. And he did it with style, too. Just the eighth man to top 2,000 yards and the first since Adrian Peterson in 2012. He has his sights set on another 2,000-yard season. Yeah, man, it's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Titans! Julio Jones, his first touchdown of the year. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. good on the extra point and that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. Set now to kick this one away and off it goes. Taking it about the one. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. To throw once more on second and ten. Mahomes. A dump down to McKenna. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I they move. And they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get the oh. in the secondary. And I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open, probably because of his movement out of the pocket. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. <laughs> and he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. And there are times to run that fake, and there are times to not run it. And this, without question, would fall in the latter category. Well, I don't know about without question, Bart. I think we should look at the analytics on this. Get one because, oh, yeah, the analytics say, yeah, without question. You should have gone ahead and punted the football because now, not only did you not get it, and you really have no chance to, what a short field that you turned the ball over to the other offense. Throwing on second and three. Tannehill. Touchdown! It's complete. Anthony Fritzer, his first touchdown on the year. And the Titans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Bullock. And that will extend this big lead. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. 
The Chiefs offense set to go. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions. A leap, and he's got it. He got it. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. Typically with catches like that, we talk about the height of the wide receiver, but he's one of the shorter receivers in the NFL. And it doesn't seem to matter, does it? Put the tape measure away. How about some of these guys under six feet tall? Antonio Brown, T.Y. Hilton, and Super Bowl 53 MVP, Julian Edelman. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And no! Is another interception. Picked by Kevin Byard. And the Titans are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. Yes, folks, that is his third interception, and I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball-hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot yeah. there. That's perfect Go. because there is Get off of that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around the defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football, and he's done so quite well. Henry again on second down. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. 85 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ballgame. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Tannehill. A slant to Jones. The 40. Oh, Touchdown passes now for Ryan Tannehill. And the Titans get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Really good on the extra point. And the lead will swell by one more. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll get this just up past the 20, but a marker is down. Let's get the call. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Get <laughs> To try again after the sack. Mahomes. Throw the ball. And Mahomes is going to go down. In the end zone. And that is going to be a safety. And the safety there, another mistake. And these mistakes just keep piling up. How many more can they make? They put themselves in such a massive hole now. Going to be difficult to dig out from under. Yeah, for sure they can't afford anymore at this point. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. It's taken to the 26. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum get off. and pretty much not just give him a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it. Because the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them, too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. Tannehill's throw into the hands of Reynolds here. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. 
We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. The linebacker Anthony Hitchens there on the stop. Now a second down and six. Again, it's Henry. And a well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee in a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. On first down, Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Uh. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Man open here is Jones. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Julio Jones. His third touchdown of the season all coming in this game. And the Titans are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Extra point up and good by Bullock. And that will extend this big lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Defensively, you said coming in earlier in the broadcast, the magic number was 20 points for you. That's what you thought they would have to hold this offense to or, or less than that. And wow, they've done that in a big way, haven't they? And not only have they done it, they put themselves in a great position to win this one because holding them down was paramount. If they could get it done. And now here is another interception. Picked by Kevin Byer. And the Titans are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. So the special teams penalty costs some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. They'll try and choose some clock with Henry. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 115 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Derrick Henry. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. From the 50, it's Tannehill. He's got a man. It's Berkshire, the tight end. But he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. They'll run on first down. It's Henry. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. 
So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Second down, they go again with Henry. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Here's Tannehill. Over the middle complete. That's Jones. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Bullock's kick is good. And that will just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. KC's offense ready to take over. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Amani Hooker. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but... I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So for Tennessee, the win moves them up to 5-2 and two now on the year. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Indianapolis Colts. Meanwhile, for Kansas City, they fall a game under the 500 mark at 3-4.
today from Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the AFC NFC Pro Bowl. The best players the NFL has to offer on one stage. The AFC NFC Pro Bowl underway here in Vegas. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. on the bootleg wide open it's Allen complete and they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield just like that a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage a partner they locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route rounded it a little bit more than a slant and he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field and that's very difficult for defender to shadow him across all that ground and they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. So Patrick Mahomes, because he's playing at such an elite level. Defensively, coming into a game like this, Charles, what? it's got to be a lot of things, but what worries you the most? <laughs> I think you're exactly right about that. The list is extensive about what worries you. The way he can move, make completions on the run, the way he can throw against his body, heck, make left-handed throws, you name it, he gets it done. The biggest thing, though, is once he gets into rhythm, trying to get his timing chipped away, trying to stop that, that is really difficult to do. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. Tucker's kick is good. And the AFC on the board first. It's 3-0. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. Rodgers now on first down. His throw incomplete. The intended target, T.J. Hawkinson, and it's second down. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. on third down. That's complete to D.K. Metcalf. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. On 
First down, Rodgers. Complete, Jefferson the target. A gain of six there on first. Second and four. To throw is Rodgers. To Jefferson on the slant. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. First down, here's the run with Cook. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Rodgers now to throw. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. After one on EA Sports. Credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Rodgers. He's got his tight end over the middle, T.J. Hawkinson. The reception good for seven. It's third down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. He's going to get this one down to Cook. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to count for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. In this case, he picks up a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Handoff comes to Cook. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Second down, they go right back to Cook. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Third down, Rodgers. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. And 
and his kick is indeed good. And that will tie us at 3-3. Well, no surprise there. Extremely reliable during the regular season. Bailed his team out time and again. Knocks another one through this time in the Pro Bowl. Field goals all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. Andre Roberts now to return it. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. So now the AFC offense here coming back out for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way we can. And got his man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It's a gain of 35. I'm pretty sure any quarterback will tell you it's nice to have a tight end that can stretch the field. And how about him right there, working in the heart of the defense, and they connect on a very nice play downfield, a combination of talent and toughness to go into the Briar Patch. Darren Waller, 37 yards. And the AFC has taken the lead. Well, the lost sleep that the defensive coordinator had all week preparing for this game, a good portion of it was trying to prepare for him because yeah. he's absolutely a phenomenal player. And a lot of times around the goal line, they know it's going to him. It's just so hard to stop. And that's where it really becomes difficult because you're exactly right. They know it's going to him, yet they still can't stop it. That tells you when you're a dominant player. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two play drive that time. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. The NFC offense heading back onto the field. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10.
to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Now the NFC going to take a timeout their second as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. First down now, but the clock continues to move. From midfield, here's Rodgers. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Rodgers in control as he hurries his guys to the line. And that's complete to Adams. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Now it's Rodgers. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Over the middle, that's caught by Metcalf. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. And his kick is good. And that'll bring him back within four. So they wind up turning the turnover into points as they convert there for three. Yeah, that was a nice job there to force the fumble. They recover, hand things over to their offense, and then the offense went down and got them three. That alone, that's not enough to win a game, but both units able to do their jobs on these last two drives. So we have hit half due to time constraints. We move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. It's the NFC to possess it first as we are back and underway for the third quarter. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The NFC offense heads out to begin this third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, no matter how they...